Sean Carlock, welcome to another volume of Send It. Today I want to take you through and show you our Mountain Precision Rifle chassis. There's a ton of PRS shooting going on, chassis rifle systems are very popular and for good reason, but very few of them will get down to what I consider a true lightweight hunting rifle setup. So we developed one. We built it entirely out of carbon fiber and 70 series alloy, takes an AI magazine, and weighs just under 2 pounds. So I'm going to run you through the features. We're going to do load development on the shop rifle we have here, which is in 7 Winchester Short Mag Plus P. We'll go over more of that later. And then we'll validate it at long range and show you what it's truly capable of with a total finished weight that's under 9 pounds with scope, bipod, suppressor, everything ready to roll. So let's get on into it. Okay, so here's our MPH rifle, the Mountain Precision Hunter, and as you can see, this one has a shorter barrel. This one's got an 18 and a half inch barrel. It's got a seven inch Thunder Beast Titanium Ultra 7 can. It is chambered in seven Winchester Short Mag plus P. It's left-handed because it's mine, of course. And then we topped it with a Night Force 5.5 to 22 by 50 NXS. Now while this scope weighs a little bit, it allows me to leave my tripod and my spotting scope at home in most cases where I'm using a lightweight hunting platform. We've got an adjustable cheek piece, and when we put the chassis kit together, it is adjustable for length and cant when you initially put it together. It's not adjustable after the fact, but you can cut down the tube length to get the length of pull you want. You can adjust some cant in when you initially assemble it and glue it all together. After that, the cheek piece is, of course, adjustable. We've got an AR-15 grip, and you can use any AR-15 grip. It has to be modified slightly, but our go-to is the Ergo grip. We've had really good luck with it. So all set up like this with a 9 to 13 Harris bipod, the can, the scope, everything, just under 9 pounds. 8.9 pounds with a 2 pound scope ready to go. So I'm going to zoom in on some of the features and show them to you. We're going to talk about them at, at a little bit of length and then we're going to get into load development. Okay, here we have the rear stock assembly. A high modulus carbon fiber tube, thick wall, with a polymer rear stock assembly and our Kydex adjustable cheek piece assembly. We put a one inch decelerator on there and fit it to it, and life is pretty good. We move on up the chassis to the pistol grip, and like I said, we use an ergo grip as our default setting, but any AR-15 grip can be modified to go on there, given your particular needs. Now as we get a little further up the chassis, you'll see that there's a flat trigger in it. That is a trigger tech trigger with the straight flat trigger shoe in it. And I tend to like the flat trigger shoes on AR-15 platforms or platforms where I have a more vertical pistol grip. Don't care for it so much on a standard sporter style stock, but on a more vertical pistol grip I like them a lot. We of course can put any trigger you like in it. It's got a detachable AI mag with dual mag releases, one on each side. You have to pinch both so that you don't have an accidental discharge of your magazine by bumping one magazine release or the other in there. You simply stick your hand under the gun, pinch the two releases together, and the magazine falls out squarely in your hand. You'll see high modulus carbon fiber panels on the side to protect the action and keep junk and stuff out of there. It will fit any Remington 700 foot printed action that is a true footprint action where it doesn't have an integral recoil lug, etc. Left or right handed. And then the recoil lug is built in as part of the chassis. So you have to kind of build the gun around the chassis. But the end results are definitely worth it. 
Now also looking here you can see that it's based on our Terminator action. You can see more about our Terminator action on our website. There's a number of different mounting options as far as how we want to mount the scope and what kind of scope we're going to mount on it. But in the end, it just has all the features we like and a good solid long range action. As we move on out to the end of the gun, we have a short Picatinny rail out on the tube. And there are a number of Picatinny rail based bipods on the market. But the one I tend to like is the 9-13 Harris bipod with leg notches and a S swivel feature that is made by LaRue Tactical. LaRue takes that Harris bipod, removes their foot off of it, and builds their own Picatinny adapter. So we don't get the bipod and adapter and everything strung out too far from the mounting surface. I tend to like this bipod a lot, and it's kind of my default bipod for any kind of pick rail application. Further on out the end, we've got the 7-inch Ultra 7 Thunder Beast Titanium Suppressor with a cover on it. It's a good hunting length suppressor. The 9 is definitely quieter, you can tell the difference. But the 7 is hearing safe, and for hunting applications, and given the volume of shooting I'm going to do without earplugs with it, 7 inches is plenty to get the job done, and keeps the gun at the shorter overall length that I'd hoped for. This whole package weighs in just under 9 pounds, fits in a backpack nice, and has some pretty serious long-range capabilities depending on what you chamber it in. So this one being in 7 Winchester short mag with our patented plus P chambering adaption, we'll uh, get right to load development next and show you what this thing's truly capable of. Okay, kid, how about some dope? Okay, you're gonna need 53 and 3 quarter minutes of elevation. 20, 40, 53 and 3 quarter for elevation. And 1.5 minutes of left windage. One and a half left windage. on it. Send it. Low and left. Yes. Up a minute, right a minute. Okay. On it. Send it. About four inches low, and but good, good the windage was good. So it hit right in that crack, didn't it? Yep. Okay, let me put a uh, little bit more. Was it within the wide strip? No. It was below It was that. just below the okay. wide strip. Gotcha. Okay, last shot. On it. Send it. Come on, you gotta give me that one. Yeah, that okay. one was good. <laughs> okay. It was still just a tiny bit low, but it was in the... In the strip. Yeah, yeah. it was in the area. Well, it, it's almost 1,700 yards. If we can hit in a group that big, we're happy. Yeah. You know, so... Okay. Can I stop your recording? Nope. Okay. Now what I want you to do is... pan back so I can talk to the camera for a second. Okay. Okay, we're at 1,686 yards shooting the 
MPH chassis, and this is a true carrying weight gun. The chassis weighs two pounds, the whole rifle with the NXS Night Force, a suppressor, a bipod, and everything weighs 8.8 .8 pounds, and it is still capable out there almost a mile. So I just don't know what else a guy could ask for.